Hi everybody and welcome to Days and Lauren. Today we're going to be speaking about the advancements taking place in AI or as some people prefer to call it synthetic intelligence. Well AI is going to be controlling AI. I find this fascinating. <laughs> in fact AI is being developed <clears throat> to control AI and I think that is a very cat and mouse situation. <laughs> that's, that's really funny actually. It's like it's basically what's happening is um, the policing of AI is an excuse to develop AI, which is why people are calling for the policing of AI in the first place. Open AI is so worried about AI causing human extinction, it's putting together a team to control super intelligence. That is absolutely such nonsense, if I've ever heard it. You might applaud when, upon hearing... Yeah, so people will say open AI is really concerned by what their own programs that they've created are doing that they are now going to try and control it through more intelligent AI. Because every system is almost online right now. Yes, correct. I mean, as school systems collapse worldwide, education will be online. Um, everything's online. Okay, let's get into the article. Open AI fears that super intelligent AI could lead to human extinction. So now take note. Open extinction, people. Open AI is now... You no more. Is exists. now admitting that human extinction is a possibility. It is putting together a team to ensure that super intelligent AI aligns with human interests. <laughs> what does that mean? I mean? This is literally making governments irrelevant. What these mm -hmm. people are doing right now. Beyond recruiting for the team, it's also dedicating 20% of its computing power towards this aim. And 80% of its computing power towards not that aim. <laughs> That's, that's very well said. Yes. Chat GPT creator OpenAI is so worried about the potential dangers of smarter than humans AI that it's putting together a new team to ensure these advanced systems work for the good of people, not against them. In a July 5 blog post, OpenAI said that though super intelligent artificial intelligence seemed far off, it could arrive within the next decade. That's around the corner. Yeah, so in the next 10 years, you'll have super intelligent AI that according to them, can control other AI. And according to them, could lead to human extinction in less than a decade. Yes. If this AI they are developing now with this team does not control the other AI. Do you see the movie plot developing? Goodness gracious. Currently, we don't have a solution for steering or controlling a potentially super intelligent AI and preventing it from going rogue. Open AI co-founder Ilya Statskover and his new team's co-head Jan, 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 Jan Laker. Laker wrote in the blog post. And though this, this is a company, yeah. this is not a government or an organization that people have control over. No. Uh, they're not being regulated or anything. This is unbelievable. <laughs> Uh, I've always found it a bit strange that human beings are regulated, business is very, small business is very regulated, yeah. but scientific experiments and advancements are not regulated. We can have things exploding, blow up things, things escaping laboratories, we can have all kinds of things. It's not regulated. No. It's very interesting. Uh, and although this technology could help solve many of the world's most pressing problems, super intelligent AI could lead to the disempowerment of humanity or even human extinction, the authors wrote. So these are the people that work for OpenAI that has developed ChatGPT. Mm -hmm. This is not some Ponzi scheme person, some tinfoil hat person. This is the company itself. And uh, How is this not breaking news everywhere? Yeah, exactly. I think people are too dumb to actually comprehend. Not the people watching this channel, of course. And thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for supporting us. Thanks to those of you that are channel members. Thanks to those of you that attended our live chat last night. It was really awesome. We must still put out a uh, poll to see what time people would actually prefer for that. But we have a lot of supporters on this channel. We have a lot of subscribers that is precious to us. And thank you for being interested in things like this. They mentioned it themselves. Humanity. Freedom. <laughs> well, yes. The, well, we'll get there. <laughs> uh, the new team called Super Alignment plans to develop AI with human level intelligence that can supervise super intelligent AI within the next four years. Four years AI supervising other AI. 
OpenAI is currently hiring for the team. The company said it plans to dedicate 20% of its computing power toward this research per the blog post. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has long been calling for regulators to address AI risk as a global priority. In May, Altman joined hundreds of other key figures in tech in signing an open letter containing one sentence, mitigating the risk of extinction from AI should be a global priority alongside other societal scale, scale risks such as pandemics and nuclear war. So I would like to ask, what is your priority? What is your biggest concern? And where does AI feature on that list, if at all? Have you heard one single politician, any of you heard one politician say that we are concerned about AI making us redundant, governments redundant, human redundant, humans redundant, causing the extinction of humans. I've not heard a single politician say that. If any, they've applauded. No, I'm sure they've been promised total control over humans. So this is what they've been promised. So they want the AI developed, that 80%. That's not working on controlling the 80%. Uh -huh. Other key figures in tech, including Elon Musk, have also sounded the alarm over regulating AI and called for a six-month pause on AI development, though some saw this as a ploy for Musk to play catch-up. To be sure, not everyone shares open AI's concerns about future problems posed by superintelligent AI. In a letter published by the, by the Distributed AI Research Institute, uh, basically that is dairy, <laughs> on 31st of March, prominent AI ethicists called attention to concrete and present-day issues which AI companies are currently exasperating. So they're saying that AI companies are uh, making a big deal out of nothing, basically. Wow. And they're probably saying that they're doing this on purpose to achieve certain goals or outcomes or draw interest to what they are doing. Well, tell us what you think. What, what do you think is happening? Do you take these people seriously? Do you think uh, that they concerns with human extinction due to a super uh, AI is a real concern. Uh, do you think it's possible for artificial intelligence uh, at the levels that they describe you or believe is possible in the next four years and within the next decade can be a real threat to humanity as we know it? Yes, I'd love to hear your thoughts. I definitely think that if you look at the news headlines, especially in South Africa, AI doesn't feature. Most politicians will probably think AI is wonderful and human extinction aside, AI is an integral feature, foundation actually, of smart cities in the future where we will be living in a global prison system. Some people might call it freedom because they have free Wi-Fi. I definitely think it's not freedom, it's anti-humanity, it's anti-freedom, it's anti-individual liberty. This is how they will claim to protect us in the end. The monitoring, tracking and tracing part. So now they're going to be putting 20% of the computing power towards that protection of humanity, which will re mean us relinquishing all our freedoms. That's what it's going to boil down to. Yes, but also just creating the AI to supervise the AI is creating the monster that they're trying to guard against to exactly. begin with. So it's quite a mess. Big that brother. Is, yes. It's a big brother over AI. Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, hopefully in the next decade, we won't be seeing AI opening up factories and producing robots to inhabit bodies that can completely wipe out human beings, even, even though we might be hiding in the mountains. Maybe that's not good enough. I uh, hope it doesn't get there. In the ocean, in submarines, <laughs> not such a good idea. Who knows? So uh, what does the future look like to you? How concerned are you about AI on a scale of one to 10? One being not and 10 being a lot. I'd love to know if you are in the tech industry also. I'd love to know your opinion. If you are an expert in AI, I'd also love to hear from you because we're definitely not tech experts, but we do see how AI is integral to the future, the very near future. Absolutely. Ushering in the fourth industrial revolution as per Klaus Schwab. And I have no problem with artificial intelligence being used to serve us as humanity. The moment it, it goes beyond that line where our freedoms can be removed and we we cannot be in control of something we created. Mm -hmm. There's a serious problem there. Mm. And these people obviously see that problem. Mm. Look out for the link in the description if you want to read the article. Remember to like and share and subscribe.